All right, guys, Gorilla Bear Tech back at you again. I forgot to mention in shout-out video number 34. I don't even think I even called it shout-out video number 34, but I'm sure more than likely I did. Um, you know, I got so carried away with all the, you know, stuff going on in my own private life, and then, you know, Mr. Garage himself, if you guys know who I'm talking about, and then the shout-outs. I got carried away, and I told you I was going to talk about some bonus stuff about some other challenges coming out soon, but these are basically the challenges I'm going to do, the spicy food challenges, okay? And it's three more peppers, all right? So what you see here is going to be the next challenge. This is one step above the haunted ghost pepper, which is also known as the boot jalokia. And it's called the Trinidad Scorpion. Now, if you guys are unaware what the Trinidad Scorpion is, it's a really spicy pepper, all right? Um, I've never had the Trinidad Scorpion, but it's a step below the Carolina Reaper, from what I know. Now, this one's yellow. It's got a stem on it. Very nice looking pepper, very wicked looking pepper. But then if you look at the Carolina Reapers here, the last two to the right, they're a devilish looking, they have a wicked tail. These ones don't come with stems. But holy cow, when I had one whole of these, two separate halves and two days back to back, I believe they were back to back days. Uh, oh man, this, this, was, this was the hottest by far. This had my tongue tingling constantly. I uh, had my mouth burning, increased my heart rate. All that good stuff, okay? The ghost pepper did a little bit of that, but it didn't really do much. And this is the second Carolina Reaper. Now this all would not have been possible without my buddy Into the Wild, okay? If you guys don't know who Into the Wild is, he's got a channel on YouTube, of course, Into the Wild, that's the name of it. And it's got a capital letter at the beginning of each word. Okay, so Into, capitalize I at the beginning, then lowercase N-T-O, you get the picture, and then you hit the, you hit the space bar, capital T, lowercase H-E, and then space bar again, and then hit capital W, and then lowercase I-L-D. And he does a lot of, like, cross-country stuff, you know, riding around on his motorcycle. I don't know what kind of bike it is. I forgot. And he also, uh, you know, gives some of his buddies peppers. He, he has, you know, people that he knows, you know, do pepper challenges and stuff like that. He did a, uh, a review and unboxing on some Ray-Ban sunglasses. You know, he's just a really cool guy, a really cool down-to-earth dude. He's actually become more than just a YouTube friend or acquaintance on YouTube. He's, he's become more like my friend. We've been talking this entire time. And he's got my back, like I said. You know, there are certain people out there that say they want to sue my butt and that they're going to sue me good and all this stuff, you know, just pumping themselves up. And, uh, look, I'm not making fun of you guys. Once again, Mr. Garage. Okay, I'm not going to go by the first name of your channel. But Mr. Garage, please don't cross lines with me. You don't want trouble because I know law enforcement. I know law enforcement. Okay? I have a guy that lives across the street from me who was former law enforcement. He's retired now, but there's still a lot he can do. Okay? I know your first name, and I know your last name, sir. And you don't have to call it BS because I do know your last name. All right? I got more information on you than you do on me about your whereabouts, your first and last name, and all this good stuff. So don't cross me, guy. I'm not going to put up with you. I already reported you three times, and I sent YouTube an email regarding you, okay? At least I'm being honest. I'm not lying about anything I've said in prior videos, previous videos, whatever you want to call it. I have not lied about squat. But do not cross me. I'm telling you, don't cross me. You don't want to have trouble for me, dude. You don't want to cross me, sir, because I did nothing wrong to you. You came to this channel. All of my subscribers that are watching this video and prior videos know that you crossed me. You came to my channel and left comments all over my comment sections of, pre, of all, not all of my videos, but about three or four different videos, maybe five. Okay, I may be exaggerating. Okay, don't jump on my case and say I'm bullying you now and, and I'm lying to you because I'm not. I am accurate for the most part. About 95% of what I'm saying is 100% the truth about you. That last 5% you have on me. That's it, okay? Compare 95% to 5%, who wins? Who wins? All right? I'm not going to debate with you. I'm not going to argue with anymore. I'm not going to tell you you were right about everything. Okay? But I was being the bigger man. I say, you know what? You were right about certain things, Mr. Garage. You were right about certain things. Okay? Yeah, maybe I did take it way over my head. And I kind of got mad at you. Or you're not going to say kind of. You're going to say I got mad at you. And I, and I blew up on you. And I insulted you. And I threatened you. And I bullied you. And I said I sued you. And I came to your channel and said, I'm going to sue you and all this stuff. No, that's a lie. I didn't go to your channel at all. I never threatened you. I never said I was going to do any of that. You came to my channel and you harassed me. 
okay? And my buddy Into the Wild stuck up for me. As, as, as far as uh, other of my subscribers are concerned, I also have a few that stuck up for me as well, okay? And I also blocked you. You're still blocked. I'm not going to unblock you. I know somehow you're going to find ways to watch these videos to see what I'm saying about you, okay? Once again, I apologize to you. I apologize sincerely. Don't ever let this happen again. I don't want to hear anything about SUE anymore. Nothing about suing, okay? I don't want to hear that you're going to sue me. You're going to come over and you're going to shoot me, okay? You're going to do this. You're going to do that. I don't want to hear anymore. No more threats. Don't threaten my channel. Do not threaten me. Don't threaten my life, okay? Plus, I got nothing under my name, so you can't sue me for anything anyways. I got nothing. You don't got anything really against me as far as... Uh, as far as your allegations or your threats, you know, the, the, uh, the things that you said, you don't have any real evidence. That's my point is what I'm trying to get at. You have no valid evidence, valid proof that I ever really threatened you. You're just telling people that just to make yourself sound like you're telling the truth. And I'm just full of, you know what, of crap, of horse manure. I'm going to keep it PG. I like to use the actual words, but I'm not going to because I promise people that I'm not going to be like that. I'm not going to be a hypocrite of my words, of what I say. Manic R55 showed me respect. Tech on a Budget showed me their respect, even though they both criticized me like you did. The only difference between them two that I completely respect, and I'm not going to, you know, delete them off my, uh, off my subscriber list, I'm not going to unsub to them, is the fact that they didn't continue harassing me like you did. You kept coming to this channel, sir, and kept threatening and harassing me. You kept calling me names and saying, wow, wow, wow. You know, you're going to cry like a baby and all this stuff. I'm going to make you cry like a baby. I'm going to make you suffer. I'm going to sue you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You came to my channel, buddy boy, and you harassed me. So once again, one last message. I'm not going to even stress myself anymore in any more messages. You crossed this channel, Badass Garage. I'm just going to say your channel name now. Okay? In all capitalized letters, Mr. B-A-D-D-A-Z-Z-G-A-R-A-G-E. -Z -Z -E. If you ever cross this channel again... I am telling you, sir, you're going to have one big problem on your hands. And I'm not even kidding. That's not an exaggeration. Okay? I got my buddy who used to be in law enforcement down the street. He used to be a Minnesota police officer. He's retired now. But guess what? There's still things he could do. And he knows people that I'm connected to as well. Okay? I know his friends that are cops right now. All right? So don't cross me. Don't even try to cross me anymore. Don't be using shaming tactics and scare tactics against me either because that's not going to work. Okay? Cut it out. I'm not saying it didn't work because obviously I'm pissed off right now about it. But at the same time, it's water under the bridge. You know, I forgive you for what you've done. But I don't want to ever have you come to my channel again under any other account name that you may be using and threatening me. Okay? Because obviously I'm not going to know it's you right away. But don't ever come back to this channel and threaten me or my subscribers. Okay? And if you threaten my subscribers, that's fine. Just don't go to the links that you went to with me. Okay? If I ever see you in my comment section again, I'm done. I'm taking measures in a different way, okay? I'm not going to be Mr. Nice Guy to you anymore. Right now, I'm being nice. Right now, I'm being cordial. I'm being polite towards you. I'm being respectful. I'm asking you to please back off. That's it, all right? You got my apologies. I'm sorry if you misunderstood me in any way. I'm sorry if you misunderstood me about your, about your medical issues. I wasn't aware that you had any medical issues, and if you did, I wasn't trying to make fun of you, Okay? For being a schizophrenic or whatever, you know, whatever you discuss with me, that's fine. If you're a schizophrenic, it's fine. I got anxieties. I got problems too. Okay, I'm not perfect. I'm not better than you. Nobody's better than anybody here. We're all here to make it on YouTube, to make this journey possible, to make money, to grow as human beings, all right? So that being said, Trinidad Scorpion, guys. I know you couldn't see the Carolina Reapers because they're like dark red, okay? Once again, I'm showing it to you again. A Wicked Carolina Reaper. This one's actually bigger than the last one he sent me. Meaning Into the Wild. He actually sent these to me at no charge for free, guys, because he is a buddy of mine. He's a good friend. This one's smaller. This one's lighter in color, but it's okay. And these two don't got stems, but it's all right, guys. Okay? So, if you want to see me eat the Trinidad Scorpion, the one all the way to the left-hand side, I will eat it, but you guys got to get me at least up to, let's see, I'm at 455, 458 subs right now, maybe 459 subs or 460. Uh, get me up to about 650. I'll eat this at 650. And then the other two, uh, 
I'm not gonna eat them together, but I'll eat them separately. Add a thousand subscribers. So he helped me get to a thousand. I'll eat the Carolina Reapers. All right, guys. Much love. Also, to let you guys know, I should have some more tech videos coming out pretty soon. Some unboxings and reviews. I actually got a. Uh, I actually managed to get one of my buddies to uh, order me a drone. It's like a tiny whoop. Um, it's called the Esheen E012. Okay, the EO12. And um, yeah, guys, like I said, when I when it comes in, I'm going to do a thorough unboxing, okay, or just an unboxing to most of you, and then I'm going to do a review on it, okay? It should be an awesome drone. I asked my buddy into the wild to get him, he couldn't at the time because he's got a lot of money going into this trip, this cross-country trip, which I understand, guy. Much love. By the way, I'm going to get you a pair of headphones when I can, so don't trip, man. I got your back as long as you got mine, and I know you got my back, man. And everybody else who has my back on this platform, all of my true subscribers, okay, the true subscribers, not the BS ones, okay, BSing me and harassing me and trolling me. No more trolling on this page. I told you what's going to happen, guys. The consequences are if you troll this page, I'm going to report you and that's it. Get it over with, all right? But I don't want you reporting me on anything if I never even came to your channel or said anything to you. I don't even know who the heck you are and you just randomly report me just because you think it's funny. Or that, you know, you're reporting me because you're trying to back up one of your buddies who I apparently harassed or threatened and said I was going to sue. Okay? Uh, don't, try to do don't try to do those kind of favors for him or for anybody else. Okay? Don't come to my page and, and try to sue, say you're going to sue or say you're going to report me just because you don't like the way I look on, on video, on shout out videos and stuff. Okay? Don't test me like that. I will not put up with your butts. You are done. If you do that, you are off this channel. You are reported. You are dealt with immediately in a flash. You won't even know what hits you in the in the butt. Okay? That's all I gotta say. Alright guys. So you get me to 650 subs. I'm gonna eat this bad boy right here. Okay, if you guys wanna see me get all crazy on camera, you know, react to this really hot pepper. 650 subscribers. Okay, get me to 650 subs. If you wanna see me eat these. Get me to 1,000. These are bombs in the mouth, guys. I mean, these are dangerous. All right? I'm not saying the Trinidad Scorpion is not dangerous, but the, the Carolina Reaper is the real deal. <clears throat> all right, guys. Excuse me for burping. So with that all being said, take care. Mr. Garage, got no hard feelings or ill will against you. I'm just letting you know. I know I'm letting you know in an aggressive manner, in a serious manner. You just really put me on a, on alert with the things you've said. Especially when you use those three-letter words that I don't like to hear, okay? When you take things to that to that degree, and you and you threaten somebody with words like that, that's asking for a serious butt whipping, okay? That's asking for a lot of problems. Whether you have kids and a wife or not, or a girlfriend, that's asking problems, okay? And I'm not saying I'm gonna even waste my time because you are in Australia. I don't even care to waste my time with you. Just let bygones be bygones. Let the situation be. Let it go, buddy. I have nothing against you, okay? With all that being said, once again, for like, I don't know how many times I said that, a million times. I know I'm exaggerating, but I must have told you at least seven to ten times that I apologize. Not just once, all right? And you got my words. I'm not going to come to your channel and harass you. I'm not going to comment, even if it's positive comments. I will never comment on your page again. I will never resubscribe to you. We are done permanently. You go about your business. I go about my business. And if I ever create an RC channel for myself, you are still not welcome to my channel. Don't come to my, on my RC channel and try to say nice things to me or, or even say bad things because I won't put up with it. Even if you say nice things, I don't want you to even come to my channel and say nice stuff. I'm done with you, buddy. You really crossed lines with me and I'm finished. All right? That's all I got to say. Much love to each and every single one of you. And like I said, Esheen12 or Esheen012. Unboxing and review coming out shortly. I ordered it from China, guys, off of Banggood.com. So Banggood.com, thank you. You're an awesome company. Can't wait to receive the drone and tell everybody what it's like. All right, guys. Take care.